Yeah. Anybody have any music recommendations? Oh, I have one. You should listen to Three Hours of Falling Snow Sound. Fluffing a Duck by Kevin McLeod. I really enjoy listening to Black Screen 10 Hours. My favorite song is like an hour of silence broken up by the pipe, like a metal pipe dropping. Like, you know, that. My personal favorite song has got to be uh, Bella's Lullaby from Twilight. This music sucks. Hello Brownsburg High School, thanks for watching VHS TV. Today is Friday, December 8th. I'm Stella Waller. And I'm AJ Rule. And here's what's going on at VHS. Students, if you're taking the ACT at VHS this Saturday morning, you'll need to enter door one at 7.45 a.m. Testing will begin promptly at 8 a.m. Students will need to have their photo ID, admission ticket, calculator, and number two pencils for testing. FCA will be having a fundraiser at Chick-fil-A on Thursday, December 14th at either of the locations in Avon. The fundraiser goes from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. and in order to support FCA, be sure to take a picture of this flyer with your phone and show them or say, I'm supporting Brownsburg FCA. They look forward to seeing you there. On Thursday, the Brownsburg Quiz Bowl team hosted Western Boone as both the JV and varsity teams got big wins over the Stars. The varsity defeated Western Boone 49-29 and were led by James Milner, Zach Deerdorf, Kendrick Grant, Tyler Rivers, and Ben Grau. The JV team's 47-17 win was led by Sonic Gosh, Rebecca Allen, Celeste Hills, and Alex Nail. Quiz Bowl coaches Mr. Dahlstrom and Mr. Jones would like to congratulate the team on an excellent season so far. They'll wrap up their season in February with the White River Academic League Tournament. Good luck. Bulldogs for Life is having a baby item drive for the Women's Care Center that ends today. All items can be dropped off at your team office. Some of the most needed items are diapers sizes 5 to 7 and kids clothes sizes 18 months to 6. Whoever donates the most items will receive a $10 Chick-fil-A gift card. All you have to do is DM the Bulldogs for Life Instagram or email them a picture of your baby items and the number you donated to have a chance at winning the prize. So please donate to help families in need. Congratulations to this year's winners of the French Club's annual Bouche de Noël competition. Out of the 12 cakes entered in the contest, Most Creative was awarded to a cake made by junior Addie Cooper and senior Quill Dalton. Best decorated Bouche went to senior Athena Overmars. Seniors Ahan Bajpai and Emma McDonald won Best Tasting Cake. An overall grand champion was awarded to freshman Jordan Vaughn. Thank you to everyone for participating, and they look forward to having you at next year's event. Have you seen how the boys' basketball team has done this season? No, I haven't. Well, BHS TV's Eli Ballback has some more information for us on the guys. With the boys' basketball team on a hot start with a 3-1 record and ranked 7th in the state, we caught with some of their players to see how their season was going. I think the season's gone pretty well so far. Uh, we're still figuring things out because we got a lot of new pieces. So overall, I think it's gone pretty well, though. Thanks right now is definitely sharing the ball and our team chemistry, like we play good together. i say our weaknesses is just like figuring out how to score in the offense right now and like help side on defense. Uh, my goals for the season is probably just to get better. That's, that's all it is, just uh, get better, make the team better, and then try to win state. That's really the goal there. I think our goals for the season are obviously to uh, compete in conference um, and win a sectional or regional. I would say the team chemistry with everybody has just increased like because we hang out like outside of basketball and in the locker room. It's a great experience, so it's helped us build team chemistry all together. Boys are returning nine of their varsity roster from the last year, and with two new players on this team, they hope they can make big impacts for the Bulldogs this winter. I think the chemistry continues to improve as we continue to get experience playing with each other at practice and in games. Thanks guys, I can't wait to see how their season plays out. And make sure to come out and support the boys as they take on Pike tonight. Eli Balbach, BHS TV. Thanks Eli, I can't wait to see how the boys do this season with so many new faces on the team. Now it's time for sports. Hey Rose, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, we've had no events last night but we are gearing up for a busy weekend coming up. Let's look ahead on the schedule for our upcoming games with our four winter athletics programs. Tonight, the boys' basketball teams will travel to Pike to take on the Red Devils. They'll be back at the Varsity Fieldhouse on Saturday when they host the top 10 ranked Chesterton. The girls' basketball team has a top 10 showdown of their own when they travel to Bedford North Lawrence to take on the Stars on Saturday. Both teams will host Avon next Friday. The swimming and diving teams will be on the road on Tuesday and Wednesday next week when they travel to Pike in North Putnam. And our second ranked wrestling team hosts their toughest weekend of the year coming up with the Ironman Invitational over in Ohio. We wish all our athletes the best of luck as they compete this weekend. And don't forget, with hoop season in full swing, VHS will have these upcoming hoops games as basketball spirit days. Coming up next Friday, December 15th, it'll be camo out as we host Avon at the Varsity Fieldhouse. The following day, Saturday, December 16th, is Jersey night for the road game at Ben Davis. 
And on Friday, December 22nd, it's PJ Day, when the boys host Crown Point and the girls travel to Lawrence North. We look forward to seeing all of the great spirit for our basketball spirit days. That's all we got for sports today. Back over to you. Thanks, Rose. Now let's check in with Emma for a look at the weekend weather forecast. Hey guys, the warm temperatures will stick around for another day this weekend before the cold returns to start next week. Today we'll get a high of 56 with extremely blustery conditions. The National Weather Service issued a wind advisory for the day, so make sure your outdoor items are secured. Saturday, the rain and potential thunderstorms return to the forecast during the late afternoon, and evening will be a high of 60 and a low of 30 in the breezy conditions and continue throughout the day. And on Sunday, there's a chance that the Saturday rain could turn over into a wintry mix in the morning, and we're back in the 30s for partial sunshine. Be safe out there with the gusty conditions. Back over to you. Thanks, Emma. That's all we got for you today, VHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and we will see you on Monday.